Hello lovelies, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading. If you would look at these cards, one, two, and three, like one, two, and three, I will be having you pick your favorite deck, whichever one you feel most drawn to, and that will give us our reading for today. I'm filming this last, but I also wanted to inject this and make this comment here because I do realize that most of y'all are not going to be sticking around for the entire video. So because of that, I would appreciate it if you would look at me on other platforms. I am Curse of Cass on every other platform, on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. So please follow me there, check me out. And I hope that y'all appreciate this video. Let me know if your reading resonates with you. Thank you. Feel free to pause this video if you need more time to think, but I will be going into the first one in about five seconds. Alrighty, we're going to begin. If you chose this lovely little stone right here, this is the reading for you. So right now with these three runes, I'm looking at three main themes over the next three months. And this one represents constraint. This one represents home and this one represents prosperity. So with that being said, you may feel somewhat constrained by the amount of work you have over the summer. You may have summer school coming up or you may have a really difficult summer job if you're young. If you're grown and not young, then you may have just in general some more difficult challenges at work or you may have issues with the kids being home this summer, but either way, you're going to feel somewhat constrained. Summer may not even seem long enough for you right now. That may be an issue coming your way as well is just time constraints because once again home and constraint go together hand in hand you may also feel somewhat stuck at home and that may be an issue for you as well but either way all of this is going to come to help you in the long run it's going to help you be prosperous and help you flourish Our theme is the king, so I'm definitely looking at very much a sort of flourishing kind of situation where you're having to kind of maybe sacrifice some freedoms and sacrifice some going outside time and sacrificing some fun activities in order for you to focus on what really matters to you. Right now sounds like a good time to determine what really matters to you deep down in the long run and make your decisions and stick to them. Now is a great time to be sticking to your decisions and basically sticking to your guns and keep on going forward. It's not necessarily going to be easy to stick to these decisions though. You're going to want to deviate. You're going to want to go have fun. You're going to want to give in to your human instincts. Because once again, this isn't necessarily a super fun, lovely thing for you to do. This is more done out of necessity for you. You absolutely need to do these things in order to better your life. You ultimately want to better your life and you need to shut down and work hard even though it may not necessarily be some work you want to do. This could also show me some inner work coming up for you. You may feel constrained by yourself almost. And so this is a really clear sign to start doing your shadow work. If you've had issues doing your shadow work in the past, if you haven't had issues doing your shadow work in the past, then that's not going to apply to you as much. But I'm looking at somebody here who feels very stuck within themselves. That's what I'm looking at right now. And ultimately you're going to have to push through that and you're going to have to practice discipline and self-control. You're going to have to be the king of yourself and go forward. You're going to have to sacrifice doing some things you like doing. And we've already talked about this sort of self-sacrificing kind of situation where you're going to have to give up things you like in order to better move on. And it's ultimately for the greater good. That's ultimately where we're at right now is you're going to have to determine what do I need and what do I want and where do I go forward from there. That is going to be a very difficult thing for you specifically to determine right now because once again, brain wants what the brain wants, body wants what the body wants, but ultimately that is not going to serve you in the long run and right now you need to focus on what's going to serve you in the long run. You're going to have to just kind of shut down and do the work. This is your sign. You need to just kind of go forward. You're going to actually have to work. You have some amazing dreams and you have some amazing things that you want to achieve some overall good things in general. You have aspirations and yet you're not putting in the work for them. 
you're getting complacent and lazy and you're not going to be able to do that over the summer. You're going to have to actually put the work in to get where you want and need to be. With that being said, whether you put the work in or not is going to determine where you are at at the end of these three months, June, July, and August. Whether or not you put the work in is going to determine where you're at. If you put in the work to ultimately better yourself and better your life in the future, it's going to be better. If you don't put in the work and you continue to be complacent and lazy, you will not prosper. So ultimately, right here is where we're going to decide, based on how much work you're putting in, whether or not you are going to be successful and truly prosper or if ultimately this was all a wash for you. Ultimately, you need to move forward and you have the capability to. That's the thing about this reading is you very much have the capability to move forward and make decisions that are going to better yourself in the future, but they're hard decisions. They're going to take sacrifice and self-control and self-discipline. And if you have the ability to do that, then things are going to come out great for you. You're going to be a lot more emotionally stable and a lot happier. You're probably also going to be much more stable just in general. Four is often a number represented or representative of stability and you ultimately have the progress or you have the ability to make progress right now. You have so much potential, but you have to put the work in or else it's not going to mean anything. It's all going to be for absolutely nothing. And so if you needed a sign to put the work in, go to therapy, work harder at your job, start taking school more seriously, anything along those lines, this is your sign right here. You have the ability to do whatever you set your mind to as long as you work forward to it. This will be concluding my first card and we will be my first card and if you are interested in the second one, please stick around. If you pick this stone right here, this lovely little purple heart, then this is the reading for you. First off, we are looking at wealth, disruption, and victory. This looks like over the summer, you may have a bit of a disruption between what you necessarily like. Even though things are going really well right now, or at least better than they've historically gone for you. Not necessarily really well, because I hate to make that generalization. <coughs> Sorry. I hate to make that generalization along all of these, for all of these people, given that this is a mass reading. So I'm looking at overall, things have been stable at least. Um, wealth has come towards you. People have been generous towards you. Work's been generous towards you. You've gotten a new job. You've gotten a chance to actually put forth some time and energy into learning something new, et cetera, et cetera. You're comfortable. You're comfortable right now. Let's put it that way. You're very comfortable. But a disruption may either be already in progress from into that comfort zone and you may already be experiencing disruptions or you have a disruption to come. However, you will get through this. This is a victory room. That is what this represents. And therefore, you have the power to get through this situation that either is already coming your way, has already been here in your way, or is to come. So let's look at our little theme card right here. So this is the four of spades. So it looks like you're going to have a lot of thinking. Um, it looks like this situation where we have this disruption, that's where I'm going to be focusing it because these two are very similar as far as wealth and victory goes. But this disruption here is where I'm really going to be focusing on you for this reading. This disruption is going to cause a lot of contemplation for you. This is going to give you a chance to maybe have to think about new opportunities, consider other paths, etc., etc. I'm hoping in within this re within the rest of this reading. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. I'm hoping that within the rest of this reading, we will be able to see. Um, what this disruption might be and how it might affect you. But it does look like this is going to be something that is on your mind heavily. It's going to be a major disruption, but not necessarily a unmanageable disruption. So we're looking at the Four of Swords already, which I find interesting because once again, you're going to be thinking about this. This is going to be a disruption. It's not just going to like be like a little hiccup and then leave you. It may just be a little hiccup. It may not be that big of a deal, but it looks like, like for example, a break in a relationship. It's just a hiccup.
pick up. But ultimately, you're not going to view it as just a little hiccup regardless of how small it is or regardless of how big it is. This is going to be something that weighs on your mind. This is going to be something in your brain and you're going to be thinking about it quite a bit. To me, this looks like this hiccup may be within your friend group or a relationship or something like that where you've been comfortable and you've maybe gotten a little too comfortable and now there's going to be issues because you've all gotten a little bit too comfortable. But ultimately, this isn't necessarily a bad thing either. Ultimately, what is meant to happen is going to happen and I hate giving that vague ass answer to people because that is so vague. But ultimately, what is supposed to happen is going to happen. You are protected, your guides are watching you, and what is supposed to occur and not supposed to occur, whatever is meant to happen and whatever is best for you will come out of this. You will come out victorious. You will come out as a better person for going through this hardship. This could be some arguing at work. This could be arguing with friends. This could be cutting people out. This is going to be something that involves change for you. This is going to be something that involves change from what you know and are comfortable with to something that is ultimately in the long run better for you. So, so far my recommendation for you is going to be to go with the flow. Go with the flow, don't sweat the small shit. Keep going forward because ultimately you are protected and ultimately what is supposed to happen to you is going to happen to you and you are going to make it through this disruption into a better situation than what you're already in. You will be taken care of. People are going to be generous and understanding towards you as well. People who you may have not considered before in your life as somebody who would be that way. But nevertheless, people are going to express generosity and caringness to you and you are going to be taken care of. So if this is a relationship breaking up, don't worry about it. You will be taken care of. If this is a job having to end and you having to leave a job and go for a better one, you will be taken care of. Even though there's going to be that time period of disruption for you, you will be taken care of. People will be generous towards you and things are going to be okay. So just expect some mild discrepancies, but ultimately it's all going to work out. So I'm going to recommend just kind of going with the flow and not sweating the small stuff. If you are here for my last reading and pick the last deck or are just interested in seeing how the last deck goes, please stick around. I will be doing that one next. And finally, if you have stuck around this long or have picked the final little stone, this reading is for you. First off, we're going to be looking at those runes, which represent trust, strength, and female. So I'm going to give us a few options here. And I do think that one of these three options are going to resonate with you. Either A, and I hate to make this assumption because I know that about half of the world's population is attracted to females. But so I hate to make that generalization, I guess, in a large community like this where I'm doing a mass tarot reading. But what I'm looking at here is I'm seeing maybe you have not trusted your partner or you haven't trusted a individual like that. And now you are going to have to learn to trust them because they are going to be proving to you over and over that you can rely on them. The same may apply to a mother figure or anything along those lines where you are trusting on a female to care for you and ultimately a female figure or a feminine figure even to take care of you and that may be something that you've been struggling with. Alternatively, what I think is going to actually resonate with the majority of y'all right here is I think that the majority of y'all who have picked this reading may not have a great relationship with the divine feminine or they may have a good relationship with the divine feminine but ultimately it's going to strengthen over the summer and because you are going to learn to trust that side of either yourself or of your spirits better to where you will be more comfortable with that and more trusting and stronger on that side now is a really good time for you to start working on that feminine aspect and maybe even finding strength within femininity. I know in America, and this is just a personal bias, but 
so bear with me. But I do know that a lot of us view femininity as weak. And even if we don't actively view it as weak, we subconsciously do it. Because once again, we are Americans. Or, in, and I know not all of y'all are American either, so forgive me for that. But I'm assuming that the majority of y'all live in an area that has been affected by patriarchal societal views. And if that's the case, you have probably been taught at least subconsciously to view femininity as weaker than or lesser than. So now it's going to be an opportunity for you to actually start strengthening that femininity within yourself and learning to trust it. This could even be about trusting your intuition or things that are typically associated with women. And so I find that very interesting for us. Um, ultimately, it looks like this is going to be something that comes to you through adversity. You're going to fail at this and you might actually resist it before you finally accept it. And so that's what I'm looking at right here is something that you may be resisting and pushing back from, but ultimately is good for you. So this is me kind of asking you not to resist it, but I feel like subconsciously you still will regardless of whether you want to resist it or not. This is going to come about through some introspection. This. This is not going to be one of those, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. You can't just ram through this. You're going to have to actually take the time and do the work in order to get this to work. And it's probably mostly going to be internal. You're probably going to mostly be doing this work internally. And this may be healing your intuition even, because once again, we do know women's intuition is a phrase that's said often where I live. I don't know if that applies to y'all, but nevertheless, that is something that I hear about a lot. And so, that may be something that you personally have been kind of avoiding. Um, alternatively, it could just mean that you need some time alone to actually work forward and develop strength and trust within yourself. It looks like you may not be a person who trusts your own instincts very well. And so it looks like you may be in a situation where you have to learn to do that over these next three months. Next up, we've pulled strength. So I think that this is very clear that you do have the strength, you do have the inner power to do this. You have the ability to become stronger. You just have to quit fighting it. And within trusting others as well, it looks like you may be a not very trusting person. You may have trust issues and you may have actually been sticking by yourself this whole time. And this may resonate, this may not, because once again, I've gone several different directions with this read because once again, I can see this in multiple different directions. You may be a very independent person who's strong and independent and don't trust nobody. It's time to start trusting people. There are strength within numbers. And even though you may need some time alone to actually work through all of that, ultimately in the end, trusting others to help you, particularly other women may help you or other feminine figures or entities. And ultimately, it looks like you may not get a choice. You may get roped into being in a situation where you have to trust your own intuition or you have to trust someone else or you have to try something new that is outside of your comfort zone. You may be thrown or thrust into that situation. But ultimately, it is a new beginning for you. This is going to be a good thing for you in the long run, even though it's going to scare you. You may have to either lean on other people more than you're used to, or you may be super used to leaning on everyone for everything on the other flip side and having to rely on yourself. But either way, this is a good thing for you and this is a new beginning for you. This is a new opportunity for you to do something new and also to gain some trust within yourself or within others, whichever one you're struggling with. This is definitely going to be one of those readings that about half the reading is going to apply to you and about half the reading is going to apply to the other people picking this rock and picking this reading. So please do bear with me. <laughs> Ultimately, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at somebody who um, needs to progress forward, either as far as trusting others goes or as far as trusting themselves goes. And that is the type of person I am looking at right now. So ultimately, it's going to be you to determine which of those two apply to you. But either way, it does look like doing so is going to ultimately help you in the long run and be good for you. And once again, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself.
you're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. This is going to be an overall good beginning for you, but it's work and it's going to scare you because it's going to kick you out of your comfort zone and you've been very comfortable. You've either been one of those people who's been very comfortable relying on others for support or you've been a little too comfortable relying on yourself for support and being like, I don't need no one else. Everyone else hurts me. This is your time to shine. This is your time to move forward.